Hey, Lee Harder, TND here with you on this Tuesday. Talk about, uh, first of all, a state headline. Governor Henry McMaster has signed into law the open carry legislation, which will take effect in 90 days, allowing anyone with a South Carolina concealed weapons permit to openly carry the weapon uh, as they uh, see fit. Okay, also today, uh, Governor Nikki Haley's original six foundation um, yesterday, or uh, had we reporting today, had a big event in which they donated books to uh, Bamber County students. Further in the uh, statewide realm, the uh, approval has been given also to having inmates, death row inmates in South Carolina, which South Carolina has pretty much been unable to conduct executions because of a lack of the drugs for the capital punishment. But uh, now the option is going to be given to inmate, death row inmates that are scheduled for to die. They either get to choose the electric chair or the firing squad. Okay, over in sports, Bamber Gerhardt softball got a big win. Counting down, trying to play for um, a title and to move on in the playoffs. All right, Claflin softball, uh, interesting, got a regional bid. we playing uh, in Pennsylvania beginning Wednesday in an NCAA regional. And over on the editorial page today, I urge you to take a look at the editorial about face masks and some of the confusion on that and how we are in a total transition period. Tried to put some perspective on that and offer the concept that the idea behind doing away with masks completely at the moment is probably unrealistic. We're going to all need to at least have them with us uh, for use, vaccinated or not. And of course, the urging is that anyone who is not vaccinated uh, against COVID um, consider doing so uh, for the benefit of yourself and for everyone else. All right, tnd.com, got that real special going for you. Uh, $5 for five months. You won't beat it for what it's going to offer you. All right. Hope you have a good day and I will reach you on Tuesday, on Wednesday, excuse me.